money in the bag. You see them lames grinning, you see them graves digging. Stay focused on them streets, my nigga, I pay attention. I keep the law as I should, the Torah and the Talmud. The saint don't believe in taint, so your pain's understood. We converse dollars over earth, keep the grain on the wood. Keep our women bisexual looking, got this level good. That's class with a dash of some hood. The ingredients of businessmen and never know what with you see me in the invisible greedy gin with this sleazy grin, easy trigger hairpin. I let the games be getting a judge like a referee and never let my grudges get the best of me. This the recipe of the nigga chef YRG. For success, I protest to never be employee. Nigga, I don't believe in trust. This yoga tai chi I ching. He got to come to the round table. That's right. With the God and Shetty. Right. Black pop. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Hey, man, we got a. I got a presentation coming up. We ain't got the date set because we round tabling that's over right. here. That's right. We, we going with yeah. the guys Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, uh, you know, this kicked out of heaven, you know, the untold history of the uh, white races from 700 to 1700. Yeah. AD. We going to go. Boy, going in on your master, <laughs> going in on your on your granddad, yeah, on master other land. Yeah. <laughs> going in on master once again. You know? Nah, nah. When I saw that beam, you remember that beam when they shot when they blew up Britain, and I saw that beam when oh, they yeah. said, "Lord, they done, they done blew up master other land." <laughs> <laughs> That's what this shit is right here. This is master other land. Okay, this is <laughs> this is Europe right here. You dig what I'm saying? We ain't got the date set, man. You know, this is a little short video. Mm -hmm. We over here, early bird doing it. That's you know, right. Get ready. yeah. Getting ready to get big. Yeah. But most definitely, we gonna uh, get together and uh, this is right up my alley. Yeah. And I really wanna uh, get down to some of the major uh, topics of the book. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so. Get back with him. Yeah, yeah. He gonna do the questionnaire and see what's happening here is I'm gifting. This is when you do when you doing business, That's you right. got a gift. That's right. And I gift niggas who done put in the work and he done put in the work with many documentaries flying all across the globe doing his lecturing. So this is gifting for men who put in work. This is for those who know me. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I gift niggas. Right on my you know what I'm saying? And there's a lot more coming, man, especially for those who gonna help me out with the music and all of that. And the guy at 720 all on Amazon. Keenan Booker all on Amazon you can you can uh, you know put both names in the search engine and different products to pull up That's you right. dig what I'm saying so right. yeah we, we making this real early this ain't number two three minutes man let y'all niggas know how we do in Vegas man early bird get the worm That's right. yeah so. bang on the yeah bang on the beast.com he got the, tell him about the come ups you got this this is already in stone man oh man uh um july the 9th i'm gonna be in dallas you know uh pan-african connection uh brother Ro uh, robert uh west down there uh i, I might even fuck his name <laughs> <laughs> so we just you know July 9th you gonna be where yeah in Dallas okay y'all look out and y'all y'all put some y'all go check it out with and see what's what's going down man what you gonna be talking about oh man uh the revolutionary history of ancient Kim oh okay that's right and that's all the yeah warriors. Yeah, the warriors and the conflicts. That's right. Right, right. So, you know, that's how we, that's what we're going to be talking about, man. Y'all check out thegod720.com. Y'all check out Kicked Out of Heaven, Black Man's Bible. We doing it, all right?
Okay, this is the Black Madonna lecture. We're about to go in real heavy <clears throat> on the board. This is volume three. The Black Madonna, this is not the last lecture. There will be one more. It goes over the art gallery, which I believe it is uh, worthy to do so. So let's begin. The Black Madonna, okay. Go back one. Now, here we go. The Black Virgins, Marys, and Madonnas. A lot of people uh, ask me about this picture that I put in the volume one torture lecture. Um, this picture I found while researching um, lynching for volume one. And uh, this happened in the 1920s in America and Tennessee. This elephant is not an African elephant. This elephant is an Asian elephant. Note the small ears. Okay? You can always tell the differences between Asian and African elephants by the ears. Now, this Asiatic elephant as by root or stereotype uh, elephants are an African animal. The Asiatic African principle is here. And that principle is definitely related to Southern Ethiopia. Why would we be talking about the Southern Ethiopia uh, throughout the majority of this lecture? So we're going to talk about the situation and what happened here. And this elephant's name is ironically Mary. So, and it was a female. So, to um, slaughter the Mary, to, and what is the significance underneath the word Mary? Let me break, let me just go in on that now. I don't recall if I put that in the rest of this lecture. But Mary is very important. Uh, you have Maritime Law, which is the law that we are under. Washington, D.C. is located in Mary's land. Women always want to get married, marriage, okay? The Mar is definitely located, or, or related to Mars, but the Mary is related, is referred to Miriam. Miriam was the older sister of uh, Abraham when, when Egypt was going through the worst time, I mean, when the Jews were going through the worst time it ever experienced in Egypt. So, um, the word Mary in application is Jewish torture or uh, torturing Jews. Okay, that is what the word Mary means and uh, the destruction of the Jews, basically. So that's what that uh, word means when you fuse it in. There's, you have Mary Lemon Roll, there's the Mary again. You know, you have Mary in a lot of different areas. Uh, it will always be there. Okay? So, here we go. Let's talk about the story of what happened to Mary the Elephant. And this is definitely a sign of conquering that we will lynch. The biggest motherfucker in existence on this planet. Okay. Here we go. So, oh, we're going back here. Now, Mary. Let's see this happening. In 1916, September 13th, 1916. Uh, that's very ironic. I just not noticed it. But volume three is... Uh, has a publishing date of September 13th. There's two value, there's two dates. September 24th is the official publishing date of the volume three, and there's many reasons on why. But anyways, Mary was a five-ton Asian elephant, also known as Murderous Mary, who performed in the Sparks World Famous Shows Circus after killing a trainer in Kingsport, Tennessee. 
She was hanged in nearby Irwin, Tennessee in 1916. Her death is sometimes interpreted as a cautionary tale of circus animal abuse during the early 20th century. A contemporary newspaper account from the Johnson City staff said that Mary collided it, its trunk vice-like about Eldred's body, lifted him 10 feet in the air, then dashed him with fury to the ground, and with the full first force of her beastly fury, is said to have sunk her giant tusks entirely through his body. The animal then trampled the dying uh, form of Eldridge as if seeking a murderous triumph, and then, said, then with a sudden swing of her massive foot, hurled his body into the crowd. It is clear from the photo of her hanging that Mary was either tuskless or had short tushes uh, coming amongst female Asian elephants. Okay. So, you see, we will hang the biggest motherfucker in town. So you ain't the bad mamma jamma no more. You ain't Billy really Badass. This right here is um, a black nun. Um, here's her story. Louise Marie Therese, also known as the Negroid Nun of Moret. Watch that word Moret, which definitely is more. November 1664 to 1732 was a French nun and the subject of accounts from the 18th century in which she is claimed to be the daughter of the Queen of France, Maria Theresa of Spain. Her existence is mentioned in several different sources. The Black Nun of Moret uh, was a Benedictine uh, more, I mean Benedictine nun in the Abbey of Moret Sor Loewy. She was called the Moret de Moret, Moret of Moret, and a portrait of her exists in the Bibliothèque uh, Saint Genevieve in Paris. Here it is. Okay. So, we were in existence. We were down. We were down there shaking in the grooving. Okay. So, Saint Iphigenia of Ethiopia. Or Iphigenia of, e of Ethiopia. Okay. Also called Iphigenia of Abyssinia is a folk saint. Now, what is a folk saint? A folk saint is the inculcation of an entity or energy, definitely the entity, it's an entity, you know, a caricature charged with the energy of a group thought that comes from a culture. And there are several different group thoughts that come from a culture and usually these group thoughts are embedded into characters. Okay? These characters, when the Catholic Church showed up, some of these characters could not be ripped from the indigenous mind and the original, and the original mind of the people. So, they inculcated these uh, characters and made them folk saints. Okay? And here's one right here. So, she is a folk saint whose life is told in the Golden Legend as a virgin converted to Christianity and then consecrated to God by St. Matthew the Apostle, who was spreading the gospel to the region of Ethiopia, which in this case is understood to be located in the regions south of the Caspian Sea, either in one of the provinces of Mesopotamia or in ancient Armenia. So, when the Catholic Church inculcates a folk saint, they are inculcating the culture, they are inculcating the people because... The Catholic Church has made themselves, has made sure that everything, that they are everything. That everything is embodied. Every, you know, let no stone be unturned type stuff. Okay? So they embody everything and every principle. So everybody is okay. Because that's why anybody can come to the confession box and tell the priest, you know, of your sins, your filth. Okay? Now, this is uh, Ali Selassie wife's his wife, okay? Empress Menin Asfa, baptismal name Walata Georges, a Magabit 1881 Ethiopian calendar, okay? The Gregorian calendar is uh, from 1962. So, Ethiopia 
and the world operate on two different clocks. Okay? Let's understand that. She was the empress consort to the Ethiopian Empire, and she was the wife of Emperor Haile Selassie. Okay? We have to go over the gigantic women, the gigantic black women, the black goddesses. The black woman is God. Principle. And what does that really embody? What does it mean? So, Ethiopia is definitely the region of uh, existence, okay? Of the origins of human existence. Meaning that when we have, um, you know, the South Ethiopian tribes, the Mercy tribe, the Harma tribe, the Sura tribe, the tribes of the Omo Valley are the origins, the Bushmen. Which if you look at if you look at Elijah Muhammad, Elijah Muhammad uh, had looks like one of these uh, Bushmen. And he was the first one to bring the African Asiatic principle. Uh, now, the African Asiatic is divided up into the African uh, there's the African Asiatic, South African South Ethiopian tribes, and then there's also the African Sub Sahara South Ethiopian tribes. South Ethiopia, North Ethiopia, which is called Nubia, and then above Nubia, which you have ancient Egypt, are the three kingdoms. And then, well, I will also throw in the fourth, which will be Libya. Um, these four kingdoms are the kingdoms of human existence. They are the beginning and the origins of human existence. And they hold the oldest secrets of what this paradigm is all about. Um, that's just the, the end to it. Okay, so in the chronicle of the year 1255, it is written that St. Louis, on his return from the crusade, left in the country of Forez, uh, several images of Our Lady made and carved in wood of black color, which he had brought from the Levant. The Virgin of Mayans is referred to as Lenore in a document of 1619 referring back to an incident of 1248. There is documentary evidence that the Virgin of Pezinus was black in 1340. Notre Dame, which, uh, okay, we'll go on that. Notre and Norair are both the same word. Okay, so please understand that Notre is a, uh, can be a confusion of Nore, and which is um, going to equal into both being black. So, back, so basically, when you see Notre Dame, that is Black Dame. Dame is Madame. So that's Black Woman, Black Madonna. Every time you see Notre Dame, and that's why Notre Dame, probably the university in America, probably has that popularity because of the word alone is, is charged and coded up with the Black Madonna. So, Dave Bond, Espor, and Dijon is reported to have been Black in 1591. The painting of 1676 in Bruges Records the already ancient Spanish Black Virgin, Our Lady of Regula, Our Lady of Modine, is known to have been Black since 1623. The meticulous description and sketch of the Black Virgin of Le Pe Given uh, by Fargeaz uh, de St. Fons in 1778 is probable evidence that the statuette was Black by design and had been so uh, from its origins, which are no later than the 12th century. Salins estimates from the evidence that is available that by the middle of the 16th century before the depredations of the Huguenots, there were 190 statuettes of the Black Virgin in France, most likes, mostly in Auburn, uh, Bourbonnais, Pyrenees, Rhone, Provence, and Savoy. So we see the date. The earliest date that we see here is uh, 1255. Uh, and that is written at St. Louis on his return from the crusade. The crusade that they're talking about is the African crusade. Uh, this crusade is titled, the, uh, I forgot what it's titled. But this is, the, uh, this is the crusade they're talking about where he went to uh, Africa and he came back slaughtered because of the conditions of Africa alone shut them down based on how their uh, their physique is conformed and adapted to old Euro to Europe 
and the colder conditions versus Africa. So, when we look at the American map and we see uh, New Orleans, and that's France, okay? And we have to also understand that we will be discovering here uh, later on that uh, France, which has a mountain called Mount Afrique, is the doorway from Africa, Africa's fuse into the uh, old European picture. Now we also got to understand that uh, France comes from the Franks and it was established by uh, the first empire was Saint uh, Dragobert. Okay, I got that right. Saint Dragobert was, um, he mandated the, no, it's Saint Drogobert. I think it could be. Yeah, Saint Drogobert. Um, when he came back from his exile in Ireland, he mandated that the Black Madonna be worshipped. And with this mandate, he has also been called an unofficial saint. Um, okay? He's an unofficial saint. Oh no, I was right the first time. It's Saint Dragobert, excuse me. Saint Dragobert. Okay? Yeah. I think this is it. Okay. But yeah. He was one of the first ones to mandate that the Black Madonna be worshipped in France. France was established at the Merovingian Empire. Uh, the France Frank door is the doorway of Africa being fused into old European Catholic practices and everything else. Okay. Now, in fact, almost all black virgins are carved in wood, either of indigenous timber, such as oak, apple, olive, pear, or in and cedar. Ebony was virtually unknown in Western Europe until the 13th century, 1200s. In 1944, Leonard W. Moss, entering the church at Lucera in southern Italy, came across his first black virgin and asked the priest, Father, why is the Madonna black? The response was, my son, she is black because she is black. There's a lot. There's a lot of significance in that statement. It may sound empty and airheaded, but that's only for those who are empty and airheaded. So the response was, my son, she is black because she is black. When in December 1980, I visited Orcival, whose wonder uh, working Madonna figures in all the lists as the, proper, the proprietress of the souvenir shop opposite the church why she was called black. The answer in the tone which brooked uh, no further cross-examination was because she is. That's it. She is black because she is black. And what is that? Now, the Black Madonna, in significance to what this statement is relating to, I believe they're talking about the blackness of the vagina overall, the blackness, the internal blackness of the female body, okay? And that stems across all women. Now, that blackness is also relative to the blackness of outer space, which is what's happening here. When you are, when you are worshiping the Black Madonna and also the third layer, would be the blackness created from the sun, which is found in uh, Saint Mary of Egypt, okay, who uh, was a whore, okay? Saint Mary of Egypt was a harlot saint. They do have whore saints. But anyways, the priest answers to, uh, to Moss may seem a charming example of holy simplicity, but there was no mistake, no mistaking the open hostility when on 28th December 1952 as Moss and Caponari uh, presented their paper on black virgins to the American Association for the Advancement of Science every priest and nun in the audience walked out. My impression of the, of the reaction of the clergy 
to the subject of black virgins has been one of helpful courtesy tinged with genuine disinterest in and ignorance of the subject. As a result, many cults uh, are dying. Okay? Now, this is the American Association for the Advancement of Science. They're discussing the black virgins. Why are the black virgins being correlated with science? Because there's, there's a lot of energy dealing with these dolls. The, the, and you have to also understand that on the unconscious level of human existence, there is always a doll associated with, the, with civilization. That is part of the reason we have a, a, a cabbage patch, and also part of the reason we have a Barbie. Also part of the reason we have a G.I. Joe. These are dolls, you understand? And dolls are found in every culture, every tribe, well, the majority of tribes, not all of them. Some Polynesian tribes don't have um, dolls or things like that. But um, the Native American uh, tribes do, and African tribes, they correlate, if a woman loses her uh, children, they will make dolls of them and keep the little dolls of them uh, tied into their belt on their clothing, okay? Um, as the spirit of the baby has has to have a representation because it was a unpredictable loss that was out of you know it was out of control so you know to feel remorse to show sympathy we keep the the doll with us okay and it will assist us from the dark side with the higher level of intelligence as the living fears the dead and there are more dead than there are living so by those two facts alone, the dead is superior and the dead is more intelligent than the living. So there's many uh, ways that humans connect themselves to the dead side for that type of protection, security, you know, and, and advancement in life and intelligence. Okay, so let's let's keep it moving. So the return of the black virgin to the forefront of the collective consciousness has coincided with the profound psychological need to reconcile sexuality and religion. She has always helped her uh, supplicants to circumvent the rigidities of patriarchal legislation and is traditionally on the side of physical processes, healing the sick, easing the pangs of childbirth, making the milk flow. She knows how to break rigid masculine rules, bringing dead babies back to life, long enough to receive baptism and escape from limbo, which would be purgatory, into, parad into paradise. Looking with tolerance on the sins of the flesh as when she acts as midwife to a pregnant abbess or stands in for a truant nun, tasting for a time the illicit pleasures of sin. Uh, politically, she is in favor of freedom and integrity, the right of peoples, cities and nations to be inviolate and independent from outside interference. Nowhere is this more evident than in the history of the Queen of Poland, the Black Madonna of Sestoshua. Sestoshua. Okay. Poland is where the most famous Black Madonna is. The individual who drew the Black Madonna, the first Black Madonna in Poland, would be St. Luke. St. Luke, whose patron is the bull. The bull with the wings. Okay? This is cuckoldry here. We're talking about. Not only that, we're talking about um, the bull horns that the Mercy tribe wears on the head. They herd the cows. And also other African tribes that herd the cows and wear bull horns. These bull horns are symbols of uh, the activity that is commenced in the human psyche when it comes to sexual relations in between the genders. And you have to understand that these sexual psyches are located under a ton of different animals that all are symbolized by horns. Okay, that's all underneath St. Luke. This is the same St. Luke that wrote the book of uh, Luke in the New Testament, and he also wrote the book of Acts, okay? So your, your debauched Acts, okay? <laughs> so anyways, let's keep going. The Black Venus, what is the Black Venus? The Black Venus is located in the black outer space. The Black Venus is the planet. 
Okay, the planet is what we're talking about. The planet that is the most violent planet in our solar system and all activities of the Venus planet has direct unconscious, I mean has direct relation with the unconscious activity of all women across the board. It is found within the black Venus, which is the, which is the representation, the physical representation of the black outer space, which is what we are calling the internal of the woman's dynamic and thinking. Now, the black Venus is the representation of the primordial chaos. This scene in the chaos movements of the planet, Venus is the only planet over two zodiac signs, which would be Taurus and Libra. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Also, second from the sun. Heavy. That is very heavy. Uh, women who embody the Venus archetype usually have no children or will be more inclined towards violence and usually heavy sack. Okay. Now, this right here is all me talking. Okay. Um, more inclined towards violence, I do mean the militant principle, which is also seen in the violent activity of the Black Venus. I mean, of the Venus planet. Okay. Um, the Venus planet is going to hold both principles of both uh, joy and pain, love and fear, you know, um, hate and love, you know. Um, and, and that's what's going on. Okay, that's what's going on overall. And uh, the, usually when, when I say the heavy set part, and what I mean is, whenever a grown woman is seen without, by being barren, by seeing without being having a child, it brings up question um, of her type of activity or what type of woman she is. It usually automatically puts her into a arcane representation of what a woman is because she hasn't produced. Because the production and the nurturing advent is showing love. So if you're not a lover by the time you've achieved an adult, you you are considered to be militant violent. So the black Venus woman would be Oprah Winfrey, but then again Grace Jones. I don't know if Grace Jones has any children. We all know black uh, Oprah Winfrey doesn't have any children. But the heavy set principle as well. And not only that, you can also see from the God status that they're in when it comes to their finances and when it comes to how they are respected across the board. Okay, Grace Jones gets much respect throughout all of entertainment, as does Oprah Winfrey. Okay, the solid black principle on the models that you see inside Hollywood, and how Hollywood will always keep a super extreme black woman, or one black woman, two, three black women around, because they have to, because it is the millennial law of this existence. It is the law. It is the Venus, okay? Now, what are we talking about? Here we go. This is evidence to uh, my theory with the whole thing, okay? This is the Venus of Willendorf. This is found in Austria. This one is found in Austria. This is the Venus of Holyfells. This is in Germany. And she's lifting up the gut, showing the cunt, okay? She has big breasts. She has big belly. Heavy set. Now, see, that's another thing about heavy set women. And as you have seen, I have brought the Medusa information to forefront in the Black Man's Bible. Then, right after that, we go into the obesity that is going on with women everywhere across the board nowadays. And that would be comparative to this principle the obesity. This is definitely showing a sign of deprivation of the times that they had to get overly fat in order to reproduce um, and of course the conditions I'm pretty sure wasn't as uh, modern or safe as we see it today or we have them today so the big woman principle and all these women around here getting super fat and you know they're cons it's a sign of uh, abundance as in Nigeria certain tribes um, they fatten the women up for six months straight before they marry them. Once a woman is to get married off, she has got to get fattened up by the 
witch doctor ladies and everything for about six months, you know, because the plumpness is supposed to be security. So, that's the point. I mean, I like thick girls. And then to go in on the biological side of it, the heavy gut or, you know, just being thick overall or being heavy set and the big breast weighs down the organs and it makes the coochie tighter and smaller versus petite girls. Petite girls, you know, they uh, don't have that issue. And you will fall in the back. Okay? So, let me see here. Now, why this emphasis on Isis, who was, after all, a universal goddess of countless names, she identifies herself with Artemis or the Cretans and with Seville when in the Golden Ass she tells Apuleius for the Pregans uh, that are the first of all men call me the mother of the gods at Pessinus. Only the Ethiopians of both sort that dwell in the Orient and are enlightened by the morning rays of the sun and the Egyptians which are excellent in all kind of ancient doctrine and by their proper ceremonies accustomed to worship me. Do call me by my true name, Queen Isis. But in Gaul, Isis was no more prominent as a universal goddess than Seville or Artemis Diana, who have as good a right to be considered precursors of the Black Virgin. May the reason for the prayers uh, insistence on the primacy of Isis not be the importance attached to some Egyptian connection. Victor Bello and the France de uh, Pelliages, uh, referring to Sarah, the black Egyptian servant who accompanied her mistresses to lay saints, Mary de la Mer writes, Sarah will give birth to the cult of black virgins, particularly venerated in certain places, although many authors prefer to leave this privilege to Isis, the Egyptian goddess, these, possi these two possibilities are not, of course, mutually exclusive. In other words, Sarah believed, um, Sarah, beloved of the gypsies, may also be an avatar of Egyptian Isis. Sarah Kali is who she's talking about. Um, Sarah Kali is the black Madonna of the, the, as the patron over the gypsy people. So, she, uh, the gypsy. Uh, what this and what this is stating here, we, we, what we gotta understand about when it comes to Queen Isis, Diana, Hecate, Artemis, uh, Lilith, um, uh, Ixchel. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of different ones. There's a lot of bird goddesses. There's a lot of different uh, goddesses, and these are the archetypes of the different types of females that here that are here on the planet. This information is the mythology level. This is the daughter of the Black Venus. Are these women, okay? These goddesses are the daughters of the Black Venus. You have to understand this, okay? So, blackness and representation. The, uh, the um, planet, which is red and black in representation. Is, that's the red and black zone, that's the outer space level. The human connection level in between the outer space and us is mythology. The higher level goddesses of the mythology are the first daughters of the outer space black Venus realm. Are you following? Okay? Because now, we're about to start all over, and we go to the Black Virgin, okay? Which also carries the color, black, red. So, before we go there, let's keep it moving. Now, the 9th century was an important era for the cult of the Black Virgin. In 888, not long after the, liber the liberation of Barcelona, the Little Dark Madonna of Montserrat, was discovered by shepherds in the mountain cave where long before a Gothic bishop had hidden from the Moors. At roughly the same period, another virgin, destined to become the patroness of her people, Our Lady of the Dark Forest, was carried up by St. Menred to the hermitage where the Abbey of Ansedlin uh, 
now stands. A monk of uh, Moni St. Michael, where Louis XI was to uh, found his order of chivalry, visited the Holy Land in 867, where he would have been in a position to acquire sacred images. Though it is possible that devotion to the statue of Our Lady of the Dead at Mont Tome in the crypt of the Abbey Church dates from even earlier. In 876, Charles the Ball transferred the Chemist of the Virgin and Aiken to Charters, where the cult of Holy Well of the Strong and of the Virgin who will give birth, our subterranean lady, has been attributed to the Druidic era. The Druidic era. Okay, so they say it goes all the way back to the Druidic era, the Black Madonna. That is very, very interesting. Does it? Does it not? We really don't know. But the fact is, is that we have um, very strong evidence that uh, from a lot of the pictures I've seen, I've seen over a hundred uh, pictures of different Black Madonnas located all over the planet. And as you can see, the most important thing here is, as I've always told you, is how these, how the Catholic has it set up. Our Lady of the Dark Forest, Our Lady of the Dead at my tomb, um, where the cult of the Holy Well of the Strong and of the Virgin who will give birth, our subterranean lady, okay? Do they have a lady for every single element of existence, okay? And that's both on the mythological side and on the literal material side. So here we go. Now, Inyana, Inyana comes from the uh, the Sumerian uh, mythology structure. Okay, I did. I met Inyana while I was doing the Black Man's Bible. While I was living the Black Man's Bible, as I am still living it. This is crazy as hell. The shit I'm going through now. But anyways. The uh, Inyana was a goddess I had incarnated into Islamic female, Sunni Shiite, Islamic woman, okay? And in Inyana is a war goddess. She is very rageful, okay? So, anyways, Inyana is the precursor of Ishtar, Astarte, Aphrodite, and Venus goddesses, okay? Whose powers are more specialized than hers. All now belong to the archaeology of myth, save the Venus of astrology. There is one contemporary of Inyana still active today. However, who retains her awesome cultic power? And that is Kali, goddess of time. The Aryan invaders of northwest India no doubt encountered dark goddesses among the Dravidians of the Indus Valley, whose advanced civilization may have been related to that of the Sumerian Chaldeans. Uh, it now seems probable that reed ships plied between Mesopotamia and India from the beginning of this period, so it would not be surprising if some cross-cultural iconographical similarities should exist between Indian goddesses and those of the Middle East. One of Kali's names as the first manifest manifestation of being is Lalita, and Lilith returns the compliment when she acknowledges that Kali is one of her 14 names. The philological evidence relates the, li the Lilith stem to words of licking, swallowing, lechery, and darkness, all consisting with the myth of Kali. Dark, sensuous, and lilac is derived from the Persian word for midnight, blue indigo, itself an import from the Indus. At may, uh, it may carry echoes of the Hindu Vishnu as Narayana, the primal being moving in the waters. According to Plutarch, there is also a mountain in India called Lilius, which produces a black stone known as clitoris, with which the inhabitants of the country adorn their ears. So, the women of today, medically, our medical term for the organ that only the only organ that has no usage but for excitement and enjoyment, it's called the clitoris which is a stone, which comes out of Hindu, and the mythological story behind the stone is a woman started worshiping the moon, and the gods got angry at her, so they killed her. And when they killed her, they made a grave, and they, put, they, they made a grave on top of her body, and this grave produced this stone called the, the clitoris, okay? 
So that's how the story goes in short. So that's where that word comes from. And have you so if we work in labia and we work in clitoris, we have to we are definitely looking at medical terminology to be based with uh, gods, goddesses, and um, other things that could be charging up the vaginal uh, region as a negative stargate or a positive stargate, I guess, depending. Okay? So, this is what is going on here. As I stated, these higher level goddesses, the Isis, the, the Lilith is for the Judaic people. These are the goddesses of which are the first layer of intelligence drafting through from the outer space realm. Now, anus in Latin means old woman, as well as fundament, changing to nana, in vulgar Latin from which our word nun derives, as the old gods and goddesses declined into fairy tale characters. A Nath, Egyptian goddess, no doubt turned into Mother Goose, the kindly nanny who soothes the nursery in the telling of tales, though her other side may appear as the wicked stepmother or godmother. So, anus means old woman, fundament, the butt, doing the butt, okay? And that is what's going on. So, the old woman is the hag, she is the butt, okay? The stench, okay? The causes the problems, the complainer, okay? The sycamore, many breasted with figs, is the Egyptian tree of life, which gives forth a milky substance. Hathor shares it as a symbol with Nut, Diana of the Ephesians, and with Zacchaeus, Saint Amador, who climbed one and received there an invitation to entertain Jesus to dinner. This story is told only by Saint Luke, but it seems to refer to the same occasion at that at which Mary anointed the feet of the Lord and wiped them with her hair. As well as a tree, Hathor was, like Lilith, the ladder on which the righteous could ascend to heaven. She was well known on the Red Sea coast of Somalia, which may itself be the land of Punt, which was originally her home, and that in some versions of the Queen of Sheba. The Queen of Sheba... Hold on. She was well known on the Red Sea coast of Somalia, which may itself be the land of punt. So punting is kicking the ball in football. You see, I'm telling you, bro, y'all niggas don't know what the fuck you're doing with these words, man. So, <laughs> which was originally her home, and that in some versions of the Queen of Sheba. So the Queen of Sheba was in punt, and we kick the brown ball, which is most likely symbolized in by the land being brown and the Queen of Sheba being her home, okay? Now, the Queen of Sheba is also known as the Lady of Byblos, where the word Bible came from. Um, that is the Phoenician, okay? Now, the city where the coffin of Osiris enclosed within a tree after being washed ashore was made a pillar of a, of a temple. At Byblos, she was a serpent goddess whose cobra symbolized the Eye of Wisdom. Now, the serpent goddesses that you also see in Medusa, as Greek does, reverse a lot of things. The real symbol of these snake goddesses are these snake beings who are called chitterlings, and this is discussed in volume three, are snake on half of the, on the bottom half of the body and not snake in the hair. Okay? It's the bottom half of the body is a snake and the top half of the body is a human. Okay, here is Queen Sheba, okay? Now, I didn't mean to put that in there twice. But, um, as the old gods and goddesses declined into fairy tale characters, Anath, the Egyptian goddess, no doubt turned into the mother goose. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I didn't mean to put that in there. But yeah, but this is Queen Sheba. And if you notice, she's standing in the same pose as the Statue of Liberty, okay? By the 3rd century A.D., Sibyl was the supreme deity of uh, the Lions, capital of the Three Gauls, where a black virgin cult flourishes today. Julian the Apostate favored her cult and composed a beautiful prayer in which he uh, 
uh, apostrophized her as the virgin. Wisdom, providence, creator of our souls. Bulls were sacrificed to her at the Vatican in the last years of the 4th century and as late as 410 AD. She was still publicly honored in Gaul. Originally a mountain goddess, generally accompanied by lions, and she became the tutelary uh, deity of cities and frontier citadels, protecting her people from war and pestilence, and speaking to them in subterranean oracles and ecstasies. Her name is etymologically linked with the words for crypt, cave, head, and dome, and is distantly related to the, the Kaaba, the cube-shaped Holy of Holies in Mecca that contains the feminine black stone venerated by Islam. Her youthful companion was the lesser consort god Atis, who was, who was castrated and transformed into the pine tree. In his memory and to honor the goddess, her priests, the Gali, were also eunuchs. Now, a lot was said right there. Uh, in Islam, the black stone, the Kaaba, is uh, a meteorite. Okay, that used to be the stone for the goddess Athena. Okay, it came down through time um, from that time period. But it is a meteorite. Now, the leading role played by Mary at the crucifixion and resurrection needs no retelling. Fourteen years after the ascension, most of which time she was put to sea by the Jews in a leaky boat without oars or uh, rudder, accompanied by her servant Martilla, who had once called to Jesus, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that gave you suck. Other passengers included Sidonius, a blind man healed by Jesus, Maximus, and one of the 72 whose feast day, 8 June, consists, co coincides with that of St. Melania the Black. St. Melania had slaves uh, I have 24,000 slaves, that's the millennium representation, as I said in the other lecture, but I didn't state her feast day is December 31st, okay? Um, St. Pelagia, a penitent whore, Lazarus, Martha, Mary, Salome, uh, Mary, the mother of James, and Sarah, the black Egyptian servant. See, Sarah, the black Egyptian ser servant, is Sarah the Kali, who is over the gypsies, okay? So... The bull is an animal of St. Luke, the reputed painter of sculptor or, or sculptor of many black virgins. Late medieval guilds of St. Luke in the cities of late medieval Europe, especially Flanders, or the Academia di San Luca, Academy, uh, Ac the Academy of St. Luke, sorry about that, in Rome, imitated in many other European cities during the 16th century, gathered together and protected painters. The tradition that Luke painted icons of Mary and Jesus has been common particularly in Eastern Orthodoxy. The tradition also has support from the St. Thomas Christians of India who claim to still have one of the Theotokos icons that St. Luke uh, painted and which St. Thomas brought to India. Now what's interesting here... doesn't know nothing about that. He isn't supposed to. St. Luke, right here. Looks like a Negro to me. Okay. I don't know, I'm not trying to put that out there like that, but I'm just saying, hey, it's looking, we're looking real, real rough. We're looking real Sunday morning on the grill patch, okay? We're looking real humble. So let's see, yeah, let's see next one. Now, it is paradoxical that so old an image should be seen to present such a new and radical departure, but then it is strange, too, that the black virgins, which have been with us, for so long and in such great numbers so often hidden and rediscovered should now for the first time become widely recognized as a separate category within the, iconog the iconography of the virgin in the west we are living wrote John the undiscovered self in what the Greeks call the Kairos the right time for a metamorphosis of the gods of the fundamental principles of symbols if this is the right time or high time uh, for us to discover the black virgin how can we know what she is trying to say to us she's trying to say come break the cheeks open bust the cheeks yeah black madonna is very sexual as you see here the evidence of the sexual activity is in the child 
She has been hacking. This is the enthroned virgin and child. Made in burgundy. This is virgin paint. This is very old, as you can tell the model. Okay. Now we're going to go through a couple of these. Yeah, man. She has healthy cunt. The mother. Juicy. Okay. Here it is. This is the famous black Madonna of Steszostowa. Okay. Of uh, Poland. And this is the child. You have to understand that these aren't really children. These are like... Uh, mm, I want to say teen range, maybe smaller adults. Okay, um, it's showing the 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 leader of the morale is the male, as the black Madonna is definitely the outer space, and that is why she has the symbology of the sun behind her head, and that is why she will always be crowned. Note, there are white angels to hold and assist the crown. We will not assist. We will not mess up the hair. The hair costs $500. So you put the rag on on top before you put the crown on top. You understand? So that's, what, that's how we're going to do it. Okay? So, here it is again. The sun is behind the head. She does not have the child, nor does she have the man. As you will never see the black Madonna with her man. Depiction of the Virgin Mary in the gates of dawn. A holy sight drawing pilgrims from all over Europe. In Vilnius, Lithuania. Lithuania. Now, here it is. This is the man right here. You see that? See that right there? That is the man. The horns. The bull. The bull doesn't fuck with no women. The bull sits at the top of the mountain. And the, timber, the bull won't even eat where the women eat. He don't want nothing to do with it. Okay? He don't want nothing to do with the bullshit yakking and your gossiping bullshit. He will not assist the woman in raising the child. He is animal. He is not. He is leaving the woman in deprivation. The woman is crying. The woman is in pain and suffrage. Okay? She has the child and she mandates the charity. She mandates the gibsma. Okay? And you will have to bring the gibsma to get the healthy, loving cunt. Because now you know she's been fucking. Because when and this is the black Madonna stage, you have to understand. You have the black virgin, which is the black and red, and then you have the black Madonna, which is which is after the black virgin, after the helm, and the cunt has been pumped. It goes to the black Madonna. And she becomes the motherly. This is the growth stage. This is the fertile stage. This is the, the green, the growing. The black and green, healthy food giving, okay? We need the green money. The prosperity is green, okay? This is also for the sickness and the, for the sickness. Sickness is green, the stench, okay? You have to change the diaper. The nasty baby dookie is green, okay? It's all green. Black and green is this stage. This is the stages after the baby is born in a healthy condition. The baby should have been born around eight, you know, 21, 25, somewhere around right there. That's when the black green stage goes. Black green stage goes all the way to around 35, 45. Okay? Depending on where, how the scenario is working. Okay? Now, this one right here is the Tindari Madonna of Bruna. Restoration work in the 1990s found a medieval statue with later additions. Uh, Negra. Some said formosa, meaning I am black but beautiful. From the Song of Songs 1 5, is described on the base. So, this is direct evidence that they know what they're doing. It is black. Ain't no wrong with Ain't no asking no question. I haven't found any other religion that worships uh, the black male or the black female or any other culture that does like uh, the Caucasian culture does. And you best believe that this has a lot to do with the dominant toll that they're having on the planet right now. But by, for instance, all black women are black Madonnas and they take care of and worship black Madonnas more so than any other race on the planet. They put up the, the Beyonce. They put the Beyonce on the stage, on the stag. The stage is a stag when you stand on top of the hill and you give the reindeer wonderland gifts to the children. That's what's going on. You're keeping everybody high. So, 
the, you know, the Beyonce, the Rihanna, it ain't no black men setting up no stages for them to be riding around and, and be flying, getting private jets. The Aretha Franklin, okay, the Patti LaBelle, okay, the Halle Berry, the whole thing, the whole gamut, okay. Let's talk about your ghetto hood rat. Your ghetto hood rat gets hair from India, from the other side of the planet. Who is pushing the cargo? Who is setting up all of that? The Asiatics. You have people in other countries worshiping black women harder than what you can worship right here in America. I've done my bit, but I understand the game, and so do they. And that's why they worship from a long handle spoon, and they don't do no direct talking unless it's done through a government facility with a glass in between me and you. Because you are animal status, okay? With your comprehension of existence. So you will be used as a fairy battery. Okay, for the Wonderland, okay? Here's another one, the Black Virgin of Maymac, 12th century, France. French and Italian uh, virgin women were nicknamed the Egyptian for centuries. So white people called their virgin girls Egyptians. Oh, you're such a sweet little Egyptian. And then I was talking to them for centuries. Have we done that here in America? No, you haven't done that. You have not done that, okay? So they have drafted the power in, in many different formats, as they were also eating the ashes of Egyptian mum mummies while they were calling their children Egyptian girls when they were virgins, okay? So, this is it. Yeah, keep, it keep it moving. And notice the child once again. This is all the black green stage. That's Puffy's back. That's P. Diddy. Don't bother me, I'm working. Yo, that track is hard. <laughs> but I think this is the one he was modeling after, is this one right here, which is unknown. I do not know where this one came from. Who? Uh, I don't know anything about it. I just found it. I couldn't find its origins. But uh, this is it right here, okay, on uh, Pup Daddy's back. The Black Madonna, and that tattoo happened on him when I was doing all this research. So, you gotta understand that I guess it's just certain frequencies and minds, millionaires, billionaires, and those type of individuals uh, accept or they're gonna be on that wave of intelligence, that frequency. And I'm definitely there, because the Black Madonnas came to me, you know, they came running at me. So, we had to do some exp explanation. So, this is Cologne, Germany, the Black Mother of God, St. Mary, the Mother of Mercy. The Mother of God is the Mother of the Mercy Tribe. Do you understand? Okay? Let's talk about the Mercy Tribe real quick. What are their sexual practices? They're, they're a polygamous tribe. And the women brag about getting beat by their husbands. The women brag about getting whipped by their husband. The whipping shows the passion, the love. Being whipped damn near to death shows the limit that they will go to for their husband. And they brag about their scars amongst each other. This is love. These, this, these are the passions. This is the, the art, okay? The, the African American won't ever understand or accept because the, the witch rules you. You were ruled by witches. You were not ruled by obedient, loving black Madonnas. You have to understand, the world worships these black Madonnas. Black people don't. Okay, we don't have to. We can use the energy that's charged in them. You have to understand that the energy that's charged in these dolls are thousands of years of energy. So yes, you can use it, you can pray to it. You can use them for their principles and what they represent and, and get things inculcated, in, inculcated into your life. Okay, this is Sarah Lakali. This is the uh, Gypsy um, Black Madonna. In the south of France, they, they elaborately dress her on festival day. Um, through my understanding of the Black Madonna, um, in my research, it's, it's definitely clear um, 
that uh, is definitely, definitely clear that they maintain these dolls, they dress them, they change their clothing, they change their positions, all of that. There's high level maintenance. As you see, there's fine linen, the silk, okay? It's right here, you see it? They wear crowns, the dolls wear crowns, man. This is serious stuff going on. Okay, this is Lady of Africa, Notre Dame de Afrique. Uh, do you have a Lady of Africa? I don't think so, I didn't think so. That's where the problem resides. Do you see the crown and the jewels? Be jeweled. Okay, Our Lady, the original Black Madonna is shrine in the Abbey of Unsightland in Germany. This is beautiful, she's beautiful. This is one of the top ones right here. This embodies the energy. This is super black. It's definitely the layer of uh, the outer space. Now you gotta understand that the outer space element is uh, definitely going to be chopped up into a lot of different degrees of a lot of different representations of what the human existence is. And through those different umbrellas, we have the breakdown of the angels and the angels are, represent are represented as uh, the elements. The elements are things like, you know, um, passion, love, hatred, confusion, sympathy, you know, compassion, singing, the notes in singing, the winds, you know, there's a lot of angels over a lot of different things. Okay. So this is the virgin warrior of the Crusades. In the 13th century, the Seventh Crusade was preached in the sanctuary of the Black Virgin of Le Poix and Belair in the presence of King Louis the Ninth. Okay. So, as you can see, this one right here is what I like to call the alien. I like to call this one the black, the alien Black Madonna of the higher self, lower self, because of the direct connection. It's almost sort of like. The, the, the child is not necessarily sitting on the lap and we don't know whose feet this might be right here. It looks like it could be his, but it also could be hers. So, we have to say this is a, a higher body, lower, a higher self, lower self right here and definitely the warrior principle is coming out of the lower self. Okay? So. Um. We can do it like that. Okay? So, this is the next one, okay? This is the Black Christ child with Black Ethiopian Madonna, okay? Out of the Coptic Church. The Catholic Church is definitely drafted out of uh, ancient Egypt and the Ethiopian region and you can see that by the early popes their names are uh, after Alexandria which was Alexandria Egypt at that time so a, a lot of them are in that position um, Pope Syracius is uh, and also um, what's another pope Pope Aquila, okay, or Pope uh, Aquila is A C H I L L A, is Pope Aquila of Alexandria. That's one of my incarnations, same with Pope Sirius Sirius. But you'll find your own because, as I stated in the last in the Saint documentary, every every day of the year has about twenty saints to it. So this is our dear Lady of Regula, the Bruges in the Church. Understand that Black Madonna lives all, so she has the white child. And she has also birthed all, okay? So we have to understand that that is one of the principles that is being shown when you see the white child with uh, the Black Madonna, which there are several of them. This is the Black Madonna, Iglesia de Santo Tom Toledo in Spain. This right here is what I'm gonna call the alchemical Black Madonna. My sister has taken a picture to the alchemical Black Madonna. That feels good. This is the Black Madonna statue in La Havre, in La Havre, France. Okay? So, this is the Black Madonna statue. The Black Madonna statue, uh, I don't know what the material of it is made, but it is the only statue that is recognized that I've seen 
that is recognized as a black Madonna outside of a Catholic church. I think it's standing on top of a building. Okay? And that would bring us into the Statue of Liberty, which would be the metaphysical union from that statue because the Statue of Liberty is made out of copper. Copper's the planet that rules over copper is Venus. So it takes us right back to the multiple fold. Now, after the stages of the Black Madonna and the woman has birthed the child, which I didn't really go over too much in this lecture, you see the stages of the black and blue, which is the hag or the, uh, you know, the loving grandma, which turns into the cuckold, ice cold phase. It's the cold phase, okay, as blue is the original color of death and not black, okay? So, Frederick August Bartholdi, okay, was a French sculptor, hence France. France is where the black Madonna was, um, you know, first mandated. It was a French sculptor who is best known for designing liberty, enlightening the world, and that's the real name of the Statue of Liberty, is liberty enlightening the world, commonly known as the Statue of Liberty. Okay, he was born on August 2nd, that's my birthday. So, the man who designed the largest black Madonna on the planet, the Statue of Liberty, was born on my birthday. We, got, we share the same date, so I found that pretty interesting. This is in Queen Sheba right here. This is found in a 1400 uh, documentation right here. You know? So, let's go to the next one. Yeah. Uh, she has broken chains at her feet. Yeah, we went over all of that. Okay. This is the Pope. Pope John Paul I. Uh, praying, uh, praying to a black Madonna and giving thanks and graces and also doing it in Angola to the black Jesus that is on a stick, okay? In front of a very large crowd, as you can see here, okay? So, Pope is no, he knows where the game is at. This is St. Benedict the Moor. St. Benedict the Moor is the saint that is over the entire African-American community uh, in America, okay? So, he comes from uh, Palermo, Italy. Saint Benedict the Mor uh, Saint Benedict, known as Benedetto El Moro uh, or Benedict the Moor, was born to two black African slaves in Messina, Sicily, in 1524. He was also variously called uh, Niger, which means black, and Ethiopes, which means Sub-Saharan African. If I know the Sicilians. They probably called them Chinese half the time too, but anyways. Sicily was ruled by the Spanish in those days who engaged in slave trading when Southern Europe and had been ruled by the Africans. They had white European slaves, so I think the Spanish were keen to turn the tables on them. Much of Spain was governed by the Africans for 800 years, and the Spanish had a very difficult and long war when they eventually rose up against them to regain their independence. This is... Uh, saint Benedict, he is an incorruptible saint, okay? He is an incorruptible saint, and uh, there he is, there is his body. So you know that this is not a game, and this is all very real, okay? And it's in a glass coffin. I don't know where the specific location is at. And then we got the man, Tupac, who I have made a saint, because I have the power to. Now... He was born as the same parish, parish crooks, okay? Which in 1972, he changed his name to Tupac. 72, okay? So he's also not okay. Now, and then he died with the name Machiavelli, which led us directly into the Dark Ages. So, the Paisley bandana, the 45 cow, the hawk, the horn, ink, Male jewelry, the pit bull, the panther, and Hennessy are his attributes, okay? His patronages is the penitentiary inmates, single mothers, young criminals, hip-hop, rap, aborted babies, black families, Los Angeles, the underground, uh, railroad, uh, black orphans, prostitutes, and drug-affected families, okay? There it is. Now, on April 4th is his feast day. That's his celebration day. That is also the same day 
Martin Luther King was killed. That is also the feast day for St. Benedict the Moor. That is also the day the Los Angeles was established. So, I had to lay down those mathematics. Okay? Um, yeah, I had to lay down those mathematics. So, y'all know what the game is, man. That's the truth, you know. Um, rest in peace to the nigga Pac. This is St. Michael. Um, on top of a church in Ukraine, I didn't do too much study to understand the mal the alchemy the alchemy behind it. But it's black and gold. It's beautiful. Understand all these religions and all of this shit is yours. You got to have the higher level intellect to comprehend what's really going on with this existence, man, in your picture. You know. So this is the God 720. This is kicked out of heaven. You know, Volume Three, the Black Madonnas. You know, rest in peace to the nigga Pac and all other lost souls out here. Oh yeah, the last but not least, he is the first hip hop martyred saint. He is a martyred saint. All right, so peace. Kicked out of heaven. dot com. What's the skinny jean wearing nigga with purple dreads? Got a divorce of bald bitch that give him dry hair. What about her best friend? Looks like her baby daddy on the gender bin. Trying to put the little homies on a homo trend? Fuck what they say. His boss, little Wayne, lovey daddy won't let him play. Tired of chicken dumping, steady coming from the AU niggas. Be from small towns and the neighboring states. So please let me present the facts on the case. Your honor, they're all cowards, you can see it on their face. If they make a wrong move, the dude will put them in their place. So I want you young and little niggas, grab your ankles. Why you on the chase for the fame? Got no person, they hurtin' inside. They daddy wasn't there and they mama told him lies. Did you sent, got the muscles, but the bitches got his pride. Rick Ross on decline, his outfit to disguise. Snoop got locked up, cause Whitey thought he was high. Shook Knight got hit with a bell at million twenty-five. He's supposed to be our bad guys. At the same time, every nigga in the country about to get shot up. And ain't a billionaire nigga that done dropped one buck. What about Farrakhan and the Million Man March? Every time niggas gather, they gotta bring grocery carts. I'll let you miss some in the King's Court with no heart for the motherfucking... Niggas speak and think on a third grade level They complain about signing contracts with the devil Even Puffy got in trouble and had to be humble Too much gas in that Lambo, get your hair bubbled UCLA got money from slave days What about Dr. Dre, who almost lost the big deal? Cause a homie got on Instagram flashing champagne and bills Meek Mill apologizing to Chief Real. While West Coast of Texas give a fuck how you feel Jay-Z know the deal, be a father for real Hip-hop is dead, the bitch just lost the repeal Now tell me how many more niggas Get killed for the